Hello everyone, welcome to AppT Plus Academy for Civil Services and I welcome you all to the learning series via News in Focus. Today's topic of discussion is about the ISSA Vision Zero Award which was backed by ESIC, something very important for prelims examination per se. Here you have to know two things. What is the Vision Zero Award? What is IISSA, that is the International Social Security Association and how does the ESCI function in India and what is ESI all about. So, two three organizations ke baare mein, two organizations ke baare mein aapko jaanna zaruri hai, which we'll discuss. So, let's get started. So, first and foremost, why we are discussing this news? Because recently, the Employment State Insurance Corporation, better known as ESIC, they have backed International Social Security Acceleration Vision Zero, I mean, that is called Vision Zero 2023 award, which was backed by the ESIC or a 23rd World Congress Safety and Health at Work Sydney, Australia may award the guy. So this become important specifically for prelims examination. Yeah, for one day examination, my direct Saval bhi aap se is ke baare mein pooche ja sakte. Now, what is Vision Zero 2023? So this award actually was presented by the International Social Security Associations to the companies or organizations that promote the implementation of seven golden rule of Vision Zero. So there are seven rule which is mentioned that how the security, the health risk, the other factor are taken into consideration. The transformational approach is to prevent the part of accident at workplace or three dimensions, safety, health or well-being. So you can even make a mnemonics SHW. So these three concepts pe kaam karti hai at all the work level. This is what the Vision Zero Award is actually given. Now, the other thing that is important for you to know is about the International Social Security Association. This is international organization hai, which actually brings together the social security institutions, the social security institutions hai, at the world level, which is actually brought in around the world. India may specifically get baat kare, ESIC hai, or uske alave EPFO. EPFO is other organization which is taking care for this. Now it was established in 1927. I'm talking about the ISSA and it is headquartered in Geneva and Switzerland. It serves as a global platform for the exchange of information, expertise and good practices in the field of social security. So one thing it is evident from the name itself that it provides the way out, the solutions, the best practices in terms of social security across the globe. Now, what is the aim of IWSA? If we talk International Social Security Association, ki, ye ek dynamic port, uh, uh, associations hai, it provide dynamic social security and social dimensions when it comes to globalization, supporting the excellence in the social security administration. It provides access to information, expert advice, business standards, practical guidance, providing the members to build dynamic and social security worldwide. So it takes the global practice into consideration or is ke jo rules hote hai, wo worldwide applicable hote hai, and this is also taken into considerations. The vision of the dynamic social security provide for the framework of IWSA actions. Now the other thing that is important for you specifically for the prelims examination up say ESIC ke baare mein. ESIC ke baare mein detail mein puchi ja sakti that how does it function such statutory corporations that was set up by the ESI Act of 1948 something very important the examination which is even conducted for EPFO and APFC wahan pe bhi kai baar relevant hai it is responsible for the administration of ESIC scheme the primary objective is to provide social security healthcare insurance to the industrial worker and their dependents in India it covers the employer working in certain specified employment organization or coverage ki agar baat kare isme employees or employers dono covered hote hain kai aise states hain jahan pe har ek lagbhag lagbhag states mein aapko ESI ke hospitals mil jayenge the impaneled people are getting the benefits out of this insurance the ESI comprises of uh, the crucial interest group which include employers employees the central government the state government representatives and even the representatives of the parliament and medical professional. So these are the entire gamut of fraternity that has actually benefited under the ESIC corporations. So something very important. I find this particular topic pretty relevant for the upcoming prelims examination. We'll be coming up with some of the more informative videos in line with this only. So make sure you have subscribed to the channel. 
thank you so much for watching this stay tuned till end i mean we will be continuing with more informative videos so make sure you are also connected with the other social media platform that is there thank you so much for watching